there. My name is Jonathan Gillard, and I'm Director of Student Recruitment Admissions for the School of Mathematics at Cardiff University. And I'm really happy that I'm talking to you uh, today. I'm going to give a very broad overview about what studying mathematics at Cardiff is and try to answer the question, well, what mathematics at Cardiff is all about. I'll give a summary of the courses that we offer and how we teach uh, as well. I'll begin by starting to talk about the main question that's uh, on your mind at the moment, which is, should you study mathematics at Cardiff? Let me try and give you a snapshot of what mathematics at Cardiff is like. We really have an emphasis on understanding. Let me explain what that means. Computers can follow procedures more quickly, cheaper and accurately than we ever can. So if we can actually boil down mathematics to performing some sort of algorithm or process, well, we can get the computer to do the heavy lifting for us, and it'll do it without complaining, and it'll be more right on average than we will. University mathematics is not about more complicated sums or longer calculations or more algebra or anything like that. It's more about trying to ask the bigger questions and trying to understand precisely what we're doing and why we're doing it. So let me give you an example. If I ask the question to you, differentiate x squared, then in your subconscious, you've got an algorithm ready in your brain, which is, well, differentiate x squared, I'll bring the two down to the front, deduct one from the power, and the answer is 2x. Now, that's an algorithm, a process that we can hive off to a computer if we wanted to, and we would do it very quickly, as I've already described. But at Cardiff, we would answer the bigger questions behind that process, behind that operation. So what did we just do? What does differentiation do for us? Why is the derivative of that function 2x? Can we find derivatives of any function? Where did differentiation come from? Those are the bigger questions that we will tackle at Cardiff. And it's answering those sorts of questions which will help you develop into being a future creator, a developer of mathematics, rather than just a user of mathematics, where if we tell you how to do a process, instead of being able to mimic it, can we actually enable you to make your own processes, your own algorithms, your own methods, your own way of creating mathematics? University mathematics is about high-level thinking and problem-solving, and the advantage of developing those skills is that they're in massive demand by employers. Having a really robust, logical, analytical way of thinking about things, well, that's a really, really high-demand skill by employers uh, and industry. To try and give a flavour of the diversity of mathematics at Cardiff, what I've done is I've taken a series of examination questions from, from past papers uh, here. Um, now, I didn't pick these to try and put you off or say how hard or how easy maths at Cardiff is. I just wanted to really try and give you a flavour of the sorts of things we cover. So as I talk through things, there will naturally be things that you don't know or hear of, and, and that's the point. I've deliberately chosen something that you wouldn't have seen before, but I don't need to be fearful uh, of it. The main idea is just to give an idea of the spread of the coverage that we offer. This first exam question is from a module called Operational Research. We are unique amongst many universities in the UK in that we're one of very few mathematics departments that cover operational research, uh, or OR for short. Many of you may not have heard of it. OR came to fruition during the Second World War, and it's the mathematics behind making optimal decisions. Now, this question I've uh, pinged up in front of you here uh, is precisely that. How do I make the best decision? It's about a treatment center deciding on a strategy for the diagnosis of a disease, and they want to balance cost and accuracy of diagnosis. And the question's got some data, so it tells you various costs. Uh, so the, the price you have to pay if you do something or if you don't do something. And the bottom of the question says, what is the advice for the treatment center? Very real world, very practical, and that's one dimension of mathematics. Mathematics is used to solve real world problems, be it advice for a treatment centre, be it for how many tolls to put on the Seven Bridge, how many uh, shops or cafes should be allowed to be open on a particular street, 
all these questions from big societal questions from climate change uh, to scheduling timetable for managing traffic, all of those real world questions, mathematics offers a really significant way of tackling them. So one of the huge parts of mathematics at Cardiff then is these very practical elements where you will be looking at maths to try and solve real world problems. If you look through this question, there's no terminology, there's no Greek symbol, there's no letter, there's no word that we don't really understand. You could pass this question on to most people. Um, they might scribble something on the back of an envelope and try to work out how to approach it. Underpinning this question, actually, is a really rich source of mathematics you'll study. And you'll see that you can actually use mathematics to solve an incredible array of problems. So that's one side, one aspect of the mathematics we cover at Cardiff, the very practical, the real world examples. The other side then is the more abstract mathematics. So here's an exam question from a module called coding theory, which is how computers send codes to one another. It's the, the theory behind cryptography. How can you, for example, make a CD? So that if you scratch the, the CD, it'll still correct itself and sound okay when you put it into a CD player. This is coding theory, the theories of codes. If you look through this question, now, I've just already given some practical examples of coding theory, the Enigma machine, cryptography. Uh, if you scratch a CD, how can you try and uh, make the CD robust and still play after scratching it? But if you look through this question, there's some symbology that you wouldn't have seen before. There's some terminology that you wouldn't have seen before. And it's hard to say how immediate an application exists from this question. It's hard to, to, to relate this to, to coding theory. But this is indeed another aspect of mathematics. Sometimes we study mathematics for its own beauty. We want to study it for its own right. And mathematics does have utility and beauty. So the previous question with the treatment centre, well, that's mathematics with utility, where we want to use it to solve a problem. This mathematics, well, we want to look at it, we want to study it, we want to investigate it for its own beauty. It just so happens that it is related to coding theory, and coding theory is related to cryptography and all those examples I've described. But some of the mathematics you study doesn't have immediate application. It's not obvious how we can use it in other rules or in other areas or other problem domains, but we're interested in studying it in its own right. This is abstract mathematics, where we create objects, our own language, our own way of understanding the world. A necessary skill for any modern mathematician is the use of computers. I already mentioned it earlier. If we can let the computers do the heavy lifting for us, then we should. So it's really important that we train any modern mathematician in order to use computers how to program them. And one of the first languages you'll encounter at Cardiff is Python. We cover other programming languages as well, particularly suitable for the mathematical sciences, but Python is the first one you'll encounter at Cardiff. We'll also teach you how to use LaTeX, which is the industrial and academic standard for typesetting mathematics. And that's important because you need to know how to communicate and present mathematics beautifully. And LaTeX will help you do that. So computing for mathematics will train you on specific use of Python to solve mathematical problems. And Python as a programming language is something that will uh, appear throughout your degree at Cardiff. You will use it to, to help uh, check if you've got solutions for problems correctly, and uh, you can use it yourself to, to program all sorts of things that you'll be set in later work. And there'll be other languages as well that you encounter. So, for example, if you're interested in studying statistics, you'll encounter the programming language R, which again is the academic and industry standard for uh, statistical processing and data analysis and those sorts of things. We're really excited that we've got a new building for the School of Mathematics underway. Building work is currently taking place and we'd hope to move there altogether at some point during your time at Cardiff, particularly uh, we're hoping that we'd move early on during your time uh, at Cardiff. This building is very modern, it's state of the art. It'll contain all the, the modern facilities to help lecturers convey their enthusiasm for mathematics to you and provide you with the best possible learning environment. As well as that, one feature that I'm particularly impressed about with this building, which was designed by staff and students, by the way, 
It's a huge amount of social working space. Mathematics is sometimes a team sport where there's nothing better than sitting down with a, a friend or colleague or another member of staff and scribbling on a little bit of paper or on a whiteboard uh, some ideas or some hints or drawing some pictures that will help you tackle some problem. And this building has got a huge amount of that. And that will be really good for staff and students. Uh, like you're not going to be short of a quiet space where you can sit and work with, with friends or get some help from one of my colleagues. In terms of learning at Cardiff, well, how do we go about learning and teaching and supporting you in your, your learning? Well, you'll have 15 or so hours worth of lectures a week. Now, lectures are someone like me talking at you, presenting things on the board, showing you pictures, maybe doing some live coding in front of you, maybe even doing an experiment in front of you to try and convey some mathematical idea. That's a lecture. You'll have 15 or so hours uh, of those a week. What might be more familiar to you from a classroom environment is our so-called tutorials. Tutorials are in small groups. You'll have three hours or so of those a week. Now, a member of staff will circle it around what looks like more to be a, a class. So there'll be desks and chairs and you'll sit in groups. And they'll help you, uh, again, address any problems that you've got with something that was discussed in lectures. They'll help you with work that you've been set and also give you feedback on what you've submitted. That's tutorials. You'll see your personal tutor regularly throughout your time at Cardiff. Your personal tutor is a member of staff that will be allocated to you upon arrival, and they'll see you throughout your degree. So you'll be allocated one personal tutor, and they'll look after you throughout your time at Cardiff. What you will talk about with your personal tutor is things like how your studies are going. They'll manage your uh, academic well-being. They will ensure that you've got a study plan. They'll ensure that you're, you're doing well and doing all that you need to do in order to do well during your time uh, at Cardiff. One of the support mechanisms that we've got at the School of Mathematics I'm particularly proud of is the Math Support Service. This is a really fantastic venture. The Math Support Service is open for two hours, Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And should you need help with any part of the course. So if there's a, a problem on an example sheet, something that Electra said that you wouldn't mind some clarification on, um, if you're particularly rusty uh, about something when you when you come to us, if you want to confirm that your idea about something is, is the right way of thinking about things, you can call into the math support service without appointment and you can see someone there and then. They've also got access to a huge number of resources. So should you need extra help or support in a particular area, they've got lots of really exciting resources on their fingertips they can provide you. So should you want to stay at the math support for two hours or call in for a minute, um, depending on the nature of your query, however you want to play it, the math support is there for you. So there's a huge array of support available at the School of Mathematics. You've got your lecturer who will uh, deliver the material your tutorial, which will support you with the work that you've been set. Your personal tutor will check up on you and ensure that you're doing okay. And of course, the math support service is there every day, just waiting for you to drop in uh, without appointment to talk about any mathematical query that you've got. Now, we're really, really happy in the School of Mathematics to do well on the National Student Survey. The National Student Survey is a survey given to graduating students, and they are asked to rate their overall satisfaction, amongst other questions, uh, of their time studying at Cardiff, in this case, mathematics. Last year, we achieved 100% for two of our degree programmes, the four-year MMath programme and our four-year BSc Mathematics Operational Research and Statistics with, with placement year. Now, this isn't uh, us telling you how fabulous uh, we are. This is students themselves rating how they enjoyed and how they valued their experiences at Cardiff. We asked students why they chose Cardiff, and these are the two reasons uh, why they did decide to come to us. Number one is that there is lots of module choice at Cardiff. Now, should you wish to do a broad range of mathematics, doing uh, bits of everything, or if you really want to specialise in statistics, for example, if you really want to specialise in mechanics or applied mathematics, then you can do that. You can really steer your degree to your own tastes, picking things that you like and maybe avoiding things that you don't like. To give you an idea of module choice, 
in our final year alone, we've got a degree's worth of choice. So um, that gives you an idea just about the amount of module choice that we've got at Cardiff. So you really can pick and choose what you like. The other thing, the other main reason is, well, one of a significant question that you are wrestling with at the moment is which degree scheme do I need to be on? There's huge amounts of information online, in brochures, and I'm sure friends and family also have an opinion. At Cardiff, we will give you until the end of your first year towards to the beginning of your second year to decide which one of our mathematics schemes that you want to be on. So if you're really fretting between, well, do I pick the BSc Mathematics or BSc Financial Math Mathematics, for example, that shouldn't be a huge dilemma. You can put anyone down, and then once you arrive at Cardiff, you can talk to your personal tutor, your friends, other members of staff, and really decide which one that you want to, to be on. So flexible degree schemes, you can swap and change between the degree schemes as many times as you want before deciding which one you want to be on at the beginning of year two. So here's a summary list then of all our degree schemes. And on our degree schemes, you can add on an extra year spending a year studying abroad, or you can add on an extra year uh, in work. So this is our placement year where you spend a, a year in salaried employment. So we offer a BSc Mathematics, BSc degrees. We've got the BSc Mathematics, BSc Mathematics, Operational Research and Statistics, BSc Financial Mathematics, BSc Mathematics and Music. They take three years. We offer two M-level programs. These are the M-Math, M-Math Mathematics, and the M-MOS, M-MOS, Mathematics, Operational Research and Statistics. Those four-year M-level programs are designed for those people that are really considering becoming future research mathematicians or working in a really uh, heavily involved research mathematics industry. So for example, Google, IBM, the Large Hadron Collider, these kinds of places have teams of mathemat mathematicians working on real problems. And if you're really interested in using mathematics and researching mathematics as part of a future career, these M-level programs contain the extra material, extra research experience that would uh, make you suitable for those kinds of things. We offer one joint honours with music. If you wish to specialise your degree to real world problem solving and applications, then the degrees in operational research and statistics contain more of this material. Our BSc Financial Mathematics will provide a solid foundation in mathematics whilst developing key skills for the financial industry. This includes trading, fund management and analytics. We offer a year abroad on all of our degree programs and placement year and all, apart from our joint honours program with music. And these are additional years where you can take the adventure of a lifetime and study abroad or gain a valuable experience with a paid year in industry. That was a whistle stop tour to try and give you a flavour of the mathematics that we do in Cardiff and how we teach it and how we deliver it. Should you got, have any questions or anything you wish to discuss, then please get in touch.